Hi everybody, it's Terry with paperologist.blogspot.com and today I thought I would do a uh, chair card and also just do a little brief haul here. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show you is this card and um, this is a die cut and this die cut is from Allie Edwards and this was a, a die cut from the online card classes the uh, die cut class and they did a class of both um, digital die cutting through the Silhouette Cameo and then also uh, traditional die cutting with the cuddle bug and um, all the other manual devices. So this little card here I made using this brilliant die cut. Here's another one. This one is not um, self-adhesive yet, but but I would show it to you anyway. It's really nice. They're sized perfectly for a card front. I had to squish mine in a little bit, which you can really easily do with the Silhouette software. And then I used this little bunny uh, for here, and I just fussy cut him out and, and cut away the uh, balloon. I thought I might have put the balloon back in, but I didn't end up doing that. But this little clear polymer set from Greeting Farms, it's this little bunny right here, and it's called Lucky Bunnies. So I think what I'm going to do is use a rubber stamp here and just stamp Happy Mother's Day inside. So I thought I would share that with you. And this is just some test Copic coloring that I decided to, to use. So I thought I would share that first off. And then um, if you do do digital die cutting or even traditional die cutting, you might look into these mat stacks. They're adhesive paper. Uh, they do have a texture, but they cut really nicely on the silhouette and um, I, I know they were on special when I got them at Joann's. So I just wanted to show that to you too, that this is a terrific way to cut and um, they are four and a half by six and a half. So they could be perfect for a front of a card. As you can see, They'll, they'll just make it perfectly for a four and a quarter, five and a half card. So if you have a chance to pick those up and you do die cutting, I, I definitely recommend it. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was I got this guy a few, well, maybe a few weeks ago now. And my intent was to cut some vinyl and to embellish him or her. So I did. So this is a Silhouette Store embellishment. And you can see that the vinyl adhered nicely. And then on the other side, I actually chose some lettering myself, typed it out and cut it. I think that I probably could have made this a little bit bigger, but I think it's fun nonetheless. So you never know what you can put vinyl in. And now on to my haul goodies. So. This weekend was the Scrapbook Expo in San Diego, which I opted not to go to this year. I just really couldn't tell how many vendors would, on, would be there, so I just decided that I would still go with this year. Instead, I picked up a few things at, um, these were from Joann's from the Discount Rack, so $1.97. And these cane companies are, are really nice embellishments, especially sized for cards. And then I got another one of these great, um, I guess it's pronounced Copco uh, mugs. They're really nice, and I got one at Michael's when they were on clearance. But I used my 50% off Joann's online, online coupon for this. And everything else was, was just um, on the clearance bin, too. So I got these paints, uh, 10 cents each. And I shook them up in the store, and, and I think they're okay. I mean, not a good time. <laughs> uh, and then I got this gray one. I saw this technique where you make rub-offs, or uh, scratch-offs. So I'm going to try that. And then I got some of these... Um, I don't know what to call them. It's called an extender. So it says that it increases the open and time and transparency. I know open time means dry time. 
So these were between 25 cents and 50 cents. This says this is a blending gel. Definitely, excuse me, definitely looks like a gel. Uh, this one is also the extender one. This one was a quarter. And this is a sealant, I think. I'm kind of missing some of the label here, but I figured I could look it up. And that was 25 cents. This nice brown paint also for ten cents. So I'm not sure really why they were on cents, but figured what the heck, right? So all of these various paint goodies. I was speaking of Joann's before I move on. If you um, do any sort of digital die cutting and your mat sort of lost its stickiness or you want to adhere something. If you spray a really, really light um, coat of this stuff, then I have great success with it sticking to my mat. Uh, the, the more you use, of course, the stickier it's going to be. But what's really nice about this particular th product is that it's really meant for um, sewing, like machine embroidery. And so it should not stick to your your knives or your needles. So just wanted to toss that in. I kind of forgot to mention that when I was talking about my die cutting. And then um, I went ahead and got this Distress Ink from Michaels and I think I used, I don't know, 40% off on that. And then this one was also from Michaels, just a little dollar spot stamp. Oh, I remember. Michaels had a 25% off everything regular price or sale price. So let's see. I got so this went to 75 cents because it's you know the twenty it was the twenty five percent off. This was also twenty five percent off so it was three seventy four, which is great for distress inks. I wish they had more colors, but they just don't. Uh, this happily ever after ribbon, I think, was already discounted as far down as it was going to go because it was clearance. I got this because my parents' fiftieth wedding anniversary is coming up, so I wanted to do something fun for that. So I got several rolls off the clearance bin. I think I got three. And dollar seventy nine, and I think it's ten yards. Yeah, ten yards of that. And then I got another one of these stamps. These really are some of my favorite things, and I couldn't remember if I had this one. So he went down to I'm sure seventy five cents as well. Yeah, seventy five cents. And let's see, nothing else in my recyclable bags here. Don't think so. Nope. Coupon. Uh, and then they're doing some sort of special. Um, I know that my local Michaels, I think it's Tuesday and Wednesday, Monday or Tuesday. Anyway, they're doing an additional discount, but I don't really need that. And then I got these two. Um, I'll show you what I bought from Paper Tales, but I'm hoping that, obviously these are food molds, but I think that they're silicone. So I'm thinking that they're the same material as the other molds that I have here. And I used a 40% off coupon on those two. Uh, if you go to Split Coast Stampers, you can download a coupon for a Martha Stewart product. And I think it's only Michael's, but I'm not 100% certain. So, and then Michael's had a, a Wilton coupon, so that's the reason I got this one too. Let's see, the Wilton one... Sorry, I'm not being very fast here. <laughs> Let's see. 
can see them and they totally feel like silicone rubber molds here. So this one was called Folk. So it was $9.99 less 40%, so $5.99. And then I went ahead and got this one from the Martha Stewart line. So you guys have seen these, but they sure feel very similar to, um, to this kind of mold. So anyway, I um, thought those were kind of nice. I think I saw those on Creations with Christina. So from Paper Tales, they were having a National Scrapbooking Day event. They had make and take and um, just count on stuff. So I went ahead and got this Easy Cast Epoxy stuff. So I'm hoping to use this with these molds and these molds and these other Martha Stewart molds. So, excuse me, I'll keep you posted how that works out. <laughs> and then the rest of Paper Tails. Um, here is our little make and take. It's kind of a little shaker doohickey. Oh, look, a little tag. I'm thinking that this might be kind of fun for um, maybe my parents' anniversary, but let's see. Um, I got this Elsie Bell stamps. They still have a few, and uh, the little frog. And this is the US size, so I went ahead and got him. And Elsie Bell's fans, good news. Uh, Elizabeth has definitely released some of her images, the little bears, uh, through Penny Black. So they're on pennyblack.com. There's only maybe two or three sets right now. But if you're an Elsie Bells fan, check it out. Then I got this Cosmo Cricut paper. And I just thought that was some nice simple patterns. Pretty basic. Um, one sided. And you got. I can't remember how many. Oh, 36 sheets. And then I got this from the Greeting Farms. This is, um, you know, handmade by those kind of things. So this one's kind of fun. A little barcode here. Everything from Paper Tales was 15% off. And then this, Scrap Dots, um, this came up in my die cutting class. So I'm going to give this a try and see how it works. My understanding is that it builds up. So we'll see how that works out. And I'm sure that you can find a video on how to use this, but that was good. And then some tiny type. I'm kind of hoping that they might work with some of my little banner stamps or die cuts. So we'll see. And then just some Amy Tangerine American Crafts paper. And this was on the discount bin. So I really liked this side of the paper. But the dots are kind of fun too. And then this was also on the discount bin. All these funny little funny collages. And they totally remind me of the 60s. I think my mom has some Easter cards that look like this in my baby book. So that's pretty fun. And then I thought these were really great too. A spin on those. Keep calm and carry on. Pretty cute, huh? So these are stickers. I just think they're really, really adorable. And this is a reminisce 
So these were marked down to two dollars and ten cents for this sheet. Oh, well, you got the stickers and then all the bunnies. So that's my quick haul. Thanks so much for watching and um, have a great day. And I appreciate you subscribing and check over at my blog because I've done actually some updating and posting of some other cards that I've made. And if you have any questions about the silhouette or the cameo, I'd be happy to try to answer them. Have a great day.